All right, Nick McQuick. That sounds like a, that would be a cool uh, techno DJ name right there. DJ Nick McQuick, sick with the mix. You ain't messing with it. You feel me? Nick Quick. Oh! He needs some milk. I ain't trying to. All right, so anyway, February 15, 2015, Viner, Jake of 300 reposted the short clip of YouTube from J Studios' video of the man falling down, followed by the woman saying he needs some milk. Within 14 months, the video garnered up towards 20 million loops and the rest of those numbers. What is, let me, let me, getting his ass beat by his dad. Let me see this. Doing the people. Woo! Oh! Oh, he needs God. some milk. All right. Uh, that's probably what I seen back in the day. I never seen the whole video. The whole video is that's the that was depression. Uh August 13th, Viner Tsunami and W E posted a clip of a man on a bicycle running directly into the side of a moving car, followed by an audio clip of the woman saying he needs some milk. Within seven months, the video gathered more than 16 million loops and 76,000 likes and 46,000 re revines. On set, whatever happened to Vine? Hmm. Is it still out there? On September 4th, the Vine was re-uploaded by These Nuts. Oh wow, it does not say These Nuts, but when you see These, that's just what you see. These Vines. <laughs> All right. Gaining over 1.5 million views and 840 comments over the next six months. On October 22nd, the Urban Dictionary, that's what we was looking at. Use wrong, user Ron Rahoneus. Yeah, I guess. Submitted an entry for He Needs Some Milk, defining it as an expression used in reaction to witnessing a violent accident. Oh! He needs some milk! Okay, so we're getting somewhere now with the research. On uh, December 23rd, Viner Bruh posted a clip of a man jumping out of a moving train, followed by he needs some milk audio clip. Let's 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 check these out. Oh, there goes tsunami. What is what are they doing? Oh, oh. Oh. He needs some milk. I like how they said somebody. Oh. He paused this now. He needs can't some pause milk. It. Mute then. So what is this one now? Oh, oh wow. Oh, he needs God. some milk. That's crazy. I've never seen that. That's wild. Yeah, that that is bruh. For real. Why would he do that? All right. On December 31st, YouTuber Asriel HD uploaded a compilation of the notable He Needs Some Milk Vine shown below. On February 13, 2016, the original J Studio video was submitted to the slash R public freakout, the subreddit. Uh, where's the rest of the story? Is that it? That's where the story ends? 2016? He needs some milk? Well, I don't know. Let's get to Googling because the, 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 the rest of the part of my, I want to know why. I have a theory why, but I'm not going to tell you yet. You know, uh, why drink milk? Why drink milk when high? Does high come up? That means nobody ain't Googling it yet. Let's see. Does milk get rid of your high? Let's get a look. Five things. I don't want to read that. It sounds like, let's look at a form. We don't want to go to Reddit, but this is recent. This is the 2022. Let's check it out. I don't know if there's no ads or anything. If there's any type of ads, I don't mess with those. Anything we do on here, we're not endorsing nobody. We ain't paying. We ain't playing. All that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, does milk get rid of your high? Get these ads out of here. They're killing the game with these ads. Let me close all this. Let's cut clickbait masters. Uh, let's make it look good, guys. All right. Does milk get rid of your high? In this brief article, we will answer the question, does milk get rid of your high? And also discuss the signs and symptoms of a high. Man. Does milk get rid of your high? No, it has not been proved. Okay. But milk does contain an amino acid known as... Trifle fan, trifto fan. You you feel me? That helps calm down the brain, but the levels are just enough to produce subtle relaxation and too low to get rid of a high. Uh, this is absorbed in the small intestine, where it can be transported to the peripheral circulation and be converted to serotonin. Hey, 
I don't believe it, but that makes sense. Serotonin is an important neuromodulator in the hippocampus ethorhinal cortex and other brain structures critical for learning and memory. Studies in animal models indicate I ain't pronouncing it again. Press is excessive aggressive behavior. It's likely related to central serotonin availability. Ain't nobody trying to read all no super scientists. Just tell me. The number of studies, y'all can pause this and read it if you want, but I ain't got time for that. Dr. Volkov. Volkol. It's probably Russia. Uh, this looks like a waste of time. Let's go back. Let's go to let's go to Quora. Since it's a form, let's let's zoom you up a little bit. All right, so will drinking milk bring me down from my marijuana high? Let's zoom you out a little bit. Just a little, yes. William lives in London. I don't. I didn't mean to do that on purpose, but now we know. Isn't it fun to learn, guys? It's great and it's excellent, and we always have a good time. I'm telling you. Listen, will drinking milk bring me down from my marijuana high? I don't think so. You'll feel better though, you know. Sip, sip, the, sip some almond milk <laughs> when you when you out there and see if you don't get to ah. Let's get relaxed. So they say vitamin C is the best thing. Orange juice. Uh, years ago when I was younger, there's a loophole. Magic mushrooms. We ain't got time for that. William, you are a white kid, aren't you? Yes, yes. He's a ground worker. He lives in the London suburbs. We, we ain't trying to hear about no magic mushroom. We're trying to learn about milk. John Willis, let's get a look at you. He, he's hitting Doja. He's a grower. He's autistic, so he might be spitting a little bit. His facts might have a little bit more, you know, belief. And he's a cook. We don't know what. How come this has so much information? And this cat just joined in 2022. I don't know nothing about Core, but I know of it. So, we're not here to judge people. We're just seeing what we saw when we saw it, and that's how we see. You see? Or no? Anyway, does milk bring down your marijuana high? That was the question. So, no, really an answer. Not really an answer. Milk contains compounds that breaks down oils to be absorbed in our water-based bodies. THC is an oil. If you eat THC brownies with milk, it will actually get you higher. I, I don't believe that. But... It could make sense. You're not getting higher, but no. you might you you eating some brownies and milk. Well, when you high, you ready to go to sleep. <laughs> you ready to chill. That's what I'm talking about. See? What's it called? Emulsification? 43 upvotes. I don't know. Absolutely the trick is drink one tablespoon of milk every 15 minutes for two hours. Yeah, that, that sounds stupid. By the time you drink a couple tablespoons of milk, you would feel the same as if you just sat down somewhere anyway, I think. Uh, time cures all. All right, Nick, Nick McQuick. That sounds like a, that would be a cool uh, techno DJ name right there. Somebody grab that. Remember, I told you. DJ Nick McQuick. Sick with the mix. You ain't messing with it. You feel me? Nick Quick. Somebody better get that name. Uh, Time Cures All. However, milk helps time cure all. Whoa. Once you say the same thing twice, I stop reading. Jay Washington. Is he a hood cat? It looked like speakers in the trunk. I don't know. Uh, this isn't medically based, but I found having some chocolate or chocolate milkshake works wonders. If you find your <laughs> the edge of a whitey. What is a white? Oh, I get uh, That's crazy. I've never heard this before. I'm not going to look it up, but common sense. A whitey is when you get so high you're probably about to die that's worse that's past faded when you get faded or wasted whitey is probably past wasted whitey is you gotta sit somewhere and you gotta con contemplate not dying you gotta focus on that uh ben cartner he ain't even got a picture so we ain't believe in him what does he do anyway waste time smelling a lemon will affect your high blah 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 ain't nobody trying to hear that giving the amount of milk i drink is fortunate i won't who's ellie this look like granny at and t installer and repair man so 1966 yeah, that's a granny. Deceased? How do they have that type of information? I might have to check Cora out. That's kind of, you know, rest in peace to Ellie, man. Let's see what she had to say when she said it. Uh, I know people say if you have a negative effect with marijuana to drink milk and it should bring down the high. If I drink milk while I'm smoking, will I not get high? What is this? It looks like she did a report. 
We're not reading all this, but I'm going to glance at it. If I drink dairy milk, I'd try it out tonight, but someone else have to do the official Quora study. There's an official Quora study? Maybe that's why she's official and they, they gave her condolences and they know she's deceased. Let's look at Ellie one more time. User since 1960? Oh, oh, I thought they meant on Quora. All right, rest in peace, Ellie. You know what I'm saying? She tried, but I still didn't get my answer. Does drinking milk kill your high? Not even a little bit. Would taking weed daily and having milk after enrich my health in a few days uh i don't know marcus he lives in he lives in sweden sweden i'm not gonna pronounce your last name Ek Ekl Ekl uh flush out my weed since i'm a lactose intolerant <laughs> if you're lactose intolerant you lack an enzyme in your digestive system not having this enzyme prevents you from breaking up lactose and it won't enter your bloodstream instead it'll be shat out your weed metabodies meta meta metabolites i mean on the other hand are stored in your fat deposits these cats are not hitting me with no facts they're hitting me with stupid scientific trolling sound and stuff look at all of these are like it's craziness and we always have a good time <laughs>